I'd now like to turn to Kevin and the extraordinary work uh, being done by Pacific Indigenous Peoples. And if you can share with us how uh, Pacific Indigenous Peoples have incorporated Indigenous knowledge, traditional knowledge, into international plans in response to the impacts of climate change. Please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, kia ora na tato katoto. Greetings from the uh, tiny island of uh, the Cook Islands. Um, maybe just a, an overview of uh, the Cook Islands and our traditional leadership. Uh, within the Cook Islands, there are 15 islands, but they are spread over a vast ocean space of uh, nearly 2 million square kilometres. Uh, oppo as opposed to uh, our small land-based area of only 240 square kilometres. But within that land base, uh, we have 24 um, chief chieftain titles or um, paramount chiefs, and below them we have sub-chiefs. So uh, it's basically, you could say, 24 principalities within this, this um, island group. And so the way uh, the, the traditional... Um, uh, system is structured is that uh, they work closely with government um, but also they are all landowners we can't uh, we don't um, allow foreigners to buy land in the Cook Islands um, they can only lease uh, so we're all landowners uh, and um, over the last century or so I believe we've been focused so much on land but as uh, times have come with uh, the, you know, the changing of climate and uh, the rising of sea level, um, we find now that our, our chiefs and our, um, and our traditional leaders are starting to look at uh, ways to uh, mitigate. And one of those ways is uh, we've created uh, the single largest uh, multi-use marine protected area in the world. And that's basically covering our whole two million square kilometers of ocean. And um, our traditional leaders uh, they led uh, that uh, that drive and that push into the the islands to basically um, bring about a whole change of uh, direction about us thinking about our land and uh, our land tenure system, uh, but now to focus more on our ocean and the resources in that ocean and uh, ways of which we can help uh, the world. I, I guess you could say to um, uh, help uh, you know mitigate uh, climate change. We've also uh, as part of our government's plan, uh, our Prime Minister, if you, if you heard yesterday, has um, you know, great ambitions to be 100% uh, renewable energy uh, by 2020, so um, he's backed by our traditional leaders. Uh, we have three pillars of society in the Cook Islands. We have our government, we have our traditional leadership, and we have our church. And those three pillars working together uh, have certainly uh, made an impact uh, not just in the Cook Islands, but also on a regional scale in terms of uh, the um, initiatives uh, such as Marae Moana, uh, our uh, initiatives uh, uh, like um, renewable energy, and bringing that to the fore and encouraging our neighbours and, um, and our regional friends you know, to uh, follow suit. Um, we've uh, done these things because although you know, we're minuscule when it comes to carbon footprint, if we're not doing it ourselves and we're the most vulnerable, then you know, why should uh, other um, you know, more developed nations um, uh, think that they have to follow suit? 